Oh, excuse me. Do the do. Oh, what's that? That's dark yellow and frothy. God, I'm the throat. I can't do it. This time, we'll be stranded in the middle of a desolate Mexican desert. The Chihuahuan Desert in northern Mexico, daytime temperatures can reach up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, with humidity levels as low as 10%. You see the trees that are together? Maybe there's some kind of depression that's holding a little bit of moisture so that those things can grow. And there could be water there, so that's where we're heading. All I right. really want to throw some rocks at it, just because snakes hear vibrations. Can you throw some rocks at it? Go ahead, we'll throw some rocks I'm scared at it. of the cracks. Go ahead. Shoe snakes. He's Go laughing at me. Go up You'll there. be really sad if I get bitten. I will be, but yeah, don't, well, don't worry mock about them. them. See, there could be rattlesnakes. He mocked me and he laughed at me, but it's a genuine concern. So basically, I mean, what kind of shelter? I mean, I'm, am I going to be up above the ground? I don't like the idea of sleeping on the ground where rattlesnakes slither. Well, I have to get used to it, sweetie. No, seriously. Seriously, if I ain't got trees to get us up off the ground, and it's a lot of work to build a shelter up off the ground, we're just gonna sleep on the dirt floor. I'm gonna sleep on top of him. That's okay. You can manage that. Okay. All day walking. Finally get to this oasis. Let's see what we got. No, just big flakes of dried out. That's the antithesis of an oasis, there's nothing. Our attempts to find water have failed. We're in a desperate need of fluid. So I'm gonna to have to take some extreme measures in order to get some. I got another plan. I gotta to go to the bathroom. Okay. Nope, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I gotta to go to the bathroom. That's fluid. That's good drinking fluid. We can't let that go to waste. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little bowl out of a barrel cacti. And then I'm going You want to... me to drink your pee? I was going to share it with you. I thought that's pretty nice. I thought he was going to... I've heard, I've, I've heard of this survival technique. I thought he was going to drink his own. That's acceptable somehow. I want to drink your pee. Somehow I find it acceptable that you're sharing it with me. <laughs> so, But really, yep. sit... Very, very quickly. Now, if y'all excuse me. Do the do. Yeah, hold it down there for me. I ain't gonna have no problem with it. It's your urine. I could drink my own somehow. It's the idea of drinking someone else's pee. Oh. Finished. God, I'm the throat. That's dark yellow and frothy. That, that's probably already too dangerous, isn't it? Nah, 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 nah. That is friggin' delicious. That's really angling. <laughs> pretty darn good. You're a freak. You're an absolute freak. No, I'm I'm telling you. It's got it's got no taste now because of the potato from the cactus. I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm feeling faint. I'm gonna be sick. I haven't even done it yet. Are you kidding? I just I don't feel particularly well. I'm <sighs> There you go. Try that. I'm telling you. It's not that bad. Mind of a matter, mind of a matter. It's my husband's pee with bits floating it. <laughs> seriously, is it ser is it seriously a good thing to do? Yes, it is the right thing to do, and it's the. You're not only just saying it for to be sensation to laugh at me. I, it's actually a proper thing to do. Woman, well, you know me well enough. If I say it, I mean it. I can't do it. It's not that bad. <laughs> Are you kidding? Don't drop it. <laughs> Baby, don't. Hold that in now. You need that. Don't. Ruth. Oh, I feel afraid. I've got your wee. <laughs> I've got wee all over my chin. Uh, stayed right. him. Stayed him. Okay. Did it. You want some more? No. Thank you. I'm sorry. I can't let this go to waste. Sorry. It smelled exactly like when I follow him into the bathroom in the morning. Early morning pee. It's a little too much information there, missing. It's a fact. I'm a little worried that Ruth didn't drink enough urine to properly hydrate. Can you see how there's that other slope? Yeah. And it's a little bit more green, about as green as where we are. We're gonna start walking that general direction. And the first, uh, 
bit of uh, cacti that we find that we can hydrate. We're gonna hydrate and then we're gonna get over there. Oh, your lips have gone all wrinkled. His lips are so beautiful. He's got the most wonderful, fat, lush lips. <laughs> There's no fluid in them. You got no more got such a throbbing headache and my thoughts aren't coming as clearly as normal. It just hurts so much. Just massive, massive headache. It's like a, it's a migraine type thing. Ruth is on the verge of a heat stroke. Her body's cooling mechanism is shutting down, and if not treated right away, she could suffer brain damage, organ failure, or die. I'm so concerned for her safety, I made the decision to bring in the crew medic. No, it'll be sick. OK. Oh. <coughs> We don't like this desert. <laughs> it is one of the toughest places to survive. I was going to say it's got some kind of savage beauty, but it's just savage. Since Ruth's vital signs have stabilized and Rick the medic has given her the OK, she wants to continue the mission. We're all on our own again, back into survival mode. Okay. Hey, sweetie. Got a little teeny bit of chow right over here. What have you got? Just a little snake. Snake. Basically, he's just kind of sitting in the sun, warming up. What type of snake is it? Well, looks like it's probably a little baby rattler. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, my man. Thank you for your food. All right. That's it. He's done. So it's just like pulling down, stalking from the ladies. Now hold it tightly. It's twitching. I'm still feeling slightly squeamish, which is pathetic. There you go. Wow, that's remarkable. All right, let's see if what's in his stomach. Ah, oh, looky here. Is a mouse. There's a little baby mouse in his stomach. Look at that. Oh. Still, even after it's skinned, it is moving in my hand. Breakfast <laughs> shouldn't do that. It's like some circus freak show dinner. So there you go. No head, no guts, no skin. How's it smell, baby? Oh. When it was raw, it smelled all right. Now it smells off. We can take it off the stick now, sweetie, you know. Ooh, you're trying the bone? Hmm. 